Good evening all, welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. Tonight is another entry in the uh, Unintended Collaboration series. And uh, it was kind of inspired by a thought I had a little while ago, um, just leading up to the Witchwood Goblins tasting night of the Hobgoblin IPA. Um, I love it, as do many. But I also love one of their other light beers, um, that being Hobgoblin Gold. So it stands to reason that you've probably guessed which two beers are going to be involved in the collaboration tonight. And we're giving it a bit of a... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? A Lord of the Rings theme tonight. Um, obviously, Saruman bred orcs and other things together to make his Urukai. Uh, so tonight, I'm blending two different goblins to create something. I don't know what it would be, but we're going to call it the Urukai anyway, um, just because I can. <laughs> um, and speaking of cans, that's what they're coming from tonight. Um, we've got the Hobgoblin Gold at 4.2%. And we've got the Hobgoblin IPA at 5%. And we're just going to combine them roughly 50-50 to see what we come up with. Um, like I say, I love the hop forward nature of both of them. The gold seemingly more so. Uh, the IPA has a bit more of a biscuity malt sort of taste to it. And we'll see what happens when you blend the two together. So we're going to start with the gold because it's the bigger can. And... I just want to. So you have to go hunting for gold and it's buried down below so uh, that's where it's going to go. It's going to go into the bottom of the Hobgoblin Halloween glass roughly half of the uh, the bottle at the bottle roughly half the glass that's about right given the uh, the tapered nature of the glass so we've got half of gold and we know gold is lovely Smells hoppy, smells fresh, smells light, smells like good beer. And then the IPA, pop the top on that one, it's going to go in on top. So we're going to have the gold and IPA blend. Get a nice head on that. Well, I say nice head, it's bigger than I intended. But, uh, We don't worry too much about that because we can get rid of it and make more room. So there we are. We have my Urukai, my fighting Urukai. Um, it's golden, it's pale, it's clear. It's got about a finger's worth of head remaining after I uh, emptied a lot of it down my gullet. And it's just off white and it looks good. And does it smell good? Yeah, it's, it's, it smells more like gold, but there is that little bit of je ne sais quoi, I don't know what it is. It's, it reminds me more of gold than IPA on the flavour, uh, on the aromas. Let's have a little taste, see what it tastes like. It's got that what has it got? The slightly more... It's dulled down some of the hot forwardness of the gold, but it's brought forward some of the resin, piney type notes that you get in the IPA. It tastes exactly what I would expect it to, a blend of the two. Um, you've got a bit of everything. You've got the biscuity malt, you've got the hops from the gold, you've got the malty taste from the IPA, you've got a little bit of both beers, and it works well. Mm. That it does. I like that. It's the best of both combined. What would I add to it though? I would possibly go for a slightly stronger ratio of gold to IPA, perhaps three quarters gold and a quarter IPA, just to uh, deliver more of those hops to sort of the palate. Um, but that said, I think if you did that, you'd lose some of what the IPA brings to the table. You would lose that, that resinous note, that kind of real 
it's a long bit to finish. Um, that said, I can do what I want with it, really. Um, I've got more of them in the fridge. Why not? But the one thing I will say is this. Out of both the gold and the IPA, I prefer the bottles over the can. But when you combine these two in the can, they are greater than the sum of their individual parts. The overall result is better. Because, I mean, they're good in cans, don't get me wrong. But the bottles kind of win. But combining the best bits of both cans, you get something that is equal to a bottle. And can't be a, can't be a bad thing, can it, really? Obviously, of course, it means opening two cans at once. And if you only want one, then... Uh, unlucky you might just have to have two uh, but all being said and done what are the odds and you're only having one right so if you've got a can of gold and IPA I strongly recommend that you take a leaf out of Saruman's book and uh, crossbreed them into uh, one glass because they make something really really tasty now would I do it again? Obviously it's a collaboration, so I'm not gonna buy it again um, as such, because it's not available off the shelf as it is. So would I do this again? Yes, I would. And I would do it in differing ratios. I'd go perhaps more gold than IPA, and then I'd try it the other way, more IPA than gold, see what you get. Because either way, when you combine the two cans, they make something greater than they are on their own because you get the best of both worlds. So yes, I would do it again, and I mean, I fully intend to. Just not today, so I'm gonna finish these, and I'm gonna go and encode some more video, um, because I've got lots to catch up on, especially after the tasting night last night. Uh, gotta get that one done, and deal with the, uh, the funky battery failure during the, uh, the recording of it, and me forgetting to turn it on, and yeah, you'll see in that tasting night video. Um, so yeah, ladies and gents, boys and girls, goblins everywhere. Thanks for watching. This has been the Unintended Collaboration, the Urukai. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.